All right, you know we've got to talk about this Redfall drama that's going on right now on Twitter because Redfall is one of the biggest Xbox games of the year. I'm excited to check it out, and of course, I haven't talked about Redfall too much here on the channel, so I thought what better time than now. My personal excitement for Redfall, not super high because of my past experiences with Arcane games. I didn't really dig Prey that much. I enjoyed the first Dishonored. I played that one on the Series X when it got the FPS boost. I didn't play Dishonored 2. Played about 15 minutes, 30 minutes of Deathloop. Didn't really think it was my cup of tea. So going into Redfall, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm not the biggest Arcane fan, but I'm open to a new first-party Xbox game to kick off 2023, or even kick off summer of 2023 because there is much more to come. So when I click on Twitter, I see Redfall trending. I'm like, oh, cool, people are excited about the game. No, everybody's reacting to this IGN coverage that you're watching right here. And as you can see, it quite frankly looks like they sent somebody who's not good at playing the game to play the game and get some preview footage, and they edited together what looks like a boss fight. Of course, the title of the video is Summoning and Slaying the Rook. If you do want to go check it out and you're listening on a service or you're watching it on YouTube, uh, the link will be down below. But it does look like somebody who is just trying to figure out how to play the game. Maybe they're just sitting down for their first preview session for about 90 minutes or so, I think is what they were a couple of weeks back. Uh, so it's understandably a little bit messy overall. But it clearly is just not giving the game the proper representation for a first impression that it probably deserves. This is really like a bad first date in the form of a video game uh, preview, in my humble opinion. Uh, now, I will say, giving the IGN previewer the benefit of the doubt, this is representative of the experience that some people are going to have with Redfall. If you dive in, going in blind, and you don't know how to play the game. Maybe you don't look at the uh, tutorials all the way through. You don't really take your time to plan out your attacks. This could potentially be your experience. And it does represent some gameplay jank. You see a little bit of AI jank with the Rook. Uh, he's going after different players in different ways, kind of getting hung up on walls, just some strange animations. Uh, and this is an earlier build of the game, so this is not going to be the debut build that comes out the day of the game's release. But again, they are showing off their impression, their first playthrough of a boss fight in Redfall. So you can't really fault them that much for that. Of course, getting into the comments, people are absolutely ripping them a new one. Uh, they're talking about how bad this gameplay looks. Why did you send somebody that can't play games to play the games? AI would be better off playing these games. The comments are pretty savage overall. But once again, there is some truth in everything that IGN is putting out here. Now looking at the gameplay itself, visually looks fine, the gunplay looks pretty good, still a little bit clunky, uh, but I personally think this is an unfair first impression for a game that's coming out in a couple of weeks from an Xbox first party studio. Now equally saying that, I'm going over to Colt Eastwood's Twitter. Now, if you don't know Colt Eastwood, he is an Xbox influencer, a big YouTuber. He has a podcast you should totally check out. Uh, but this is his montage that he recorded from his hands on time with the game. And as you can see, it's much more tight, fluid. It looks like he might be playing on a mouse and keyboard. It just looks like the controls are a little bit tighter. The action goes a little bit further potentially a better understanding of the kind of equipment there is to be used. You saw him shoot a flare, you're seeing him throw some C4, bounce up to the second floor, take out another enemy. This feels like a much more fluid, flowing combat kind of game, and this is the Redfall that I'm excited for. You see a couple of interspliced uh, clips from a different perspective, a different angle. This is clearly more of a trailer than it is a gameplay preview, so it's unfair to compare the two one-to-one. -one. But as you can see, people have started to share this as the Redfall preview. This is what you should be looking at versus what IGN is putting out. And I don't necessarily fully agree with that either. Like I said, this has 1.1 million impressions overall, got a few thousand likes on it. People are very excited to see what Redfall brings to the table, and this very well could be your experience once you get good at the game, once you listen to the tutorials and you spend some time with it. But I think the reality is that the truth is somewhere in between what we're seeing here between IGN and what Cold Eastwood has posted and what other influencers have posted about their time and hands-on experiences with the game. I want to take a step back and remind everybody that the overall impressions for this game have been positive. The people that have gone hands-on with it have called it somewhat of a Far Cry take from Arcane. It's got a lot of open-world beauty to it. Uh, it's got a lot of versatility to the way that you approach each individual hub of the gameplay, hub of the combat. So I think there's a lot to be excited about there. 
But you're going to be seeing something where, yes, there probably are some clunky points to it. Potentially the boss fights not be uh, might not be as fluid as some of the end game combat that you get from just exploring and attacking a base or attacking, once again, a hub of enemies. But it's also not going to be constant fluidity. It's not going to be constant uh enjoyable combat through and through there are going to be some clunky parts to it because if you've played an arcane game there are going to be clunky parts that's just the nature of the beast uh, but the point that i want to drive home is that you can't draw your entire impression of a game based off of one preview event or another you can't look at a trailer that's edited by somebody who is very tightly affiliated with the xbox community that is previewing an xbox exclusive and say that somebody else's coverage that is open to other platforms that is a mainstream media outlet is unfair or biased that's not the way to go about it either the truth once again lies somewhere in between so checking out this gameplay, seeing everything that it has to offer, I'm excited about Redfall. I think that this gameplay is not a good representation of the experience you're probably going to be having as somebody who is watching a video about Redfall reacting to the IGN coverage. Uh, it probably is going to be something that you're more at home with. It's probably going to be something you spend more time with. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want people to set unfair expectations for themselves whenever the game ends up not quite being that montage style gameplay that we see in Colt's clip but something that's a little bit better than what we see here from IGN. My personal prediction is this is probably going to land somewhere between a 7 and an 8. Uh, I think that 9 would be probably be on the high end just from what I've seen from the gameplay perspective. Uh, I'm looking forward to what Arcane has to put out, and I'm excited to see the studio continue to push themselves beyond just the stealth-style gameplay of what we've seen with Dishonored, what we've seen with Prey, uh, even to some degree what we've seen with Deathloop, where it was very cold and calculated, this looks like something that's a little bit more fluid. This looks like something that's a little bit more open, something that's more prone to action sequences versus just sudden spurts of action in between strategically planning your way through the world. So once again, Redfall, I'm excited to see what happens when it launches in May. I'm keeping my expectations in check, but I would love to hear your thoughts down below or you can hit me up over on Twitter. Are you excited about Redfall? What do you think about the IGN gameplay? Just leave your thoughts down below. But until we get to the actual gameplay itself, I'm just going to keep watching the previews, keep my expectations in check, and just look forward to the full release in May.